Let's start off with the basics. Each ship will have a captain position, a first mate position, and a gunner position. And you want to fill these roles first, no matter what ship you're using. That is that is the key. Um, so we're going to go and start with captains first. For your flagship, you can go and click this little captain button right here, and you'll see all the captains available. I do have one missing, which is Barnacle, but he's also in there as well. Now, if we start here, we have our options of Habab, Lester, Zola, Bones, Griffin, and Ophelia. Now, if you're just starting off, you're probably going to have a Zola, or there's a little thing you can use over here, which is a jack of all trades, which you'll usually have Henry Hell from the beginning. Uh, you can use as well, just like Curse Ed and Cordelia. But let's go back to the captains. So what I have right here, my flagship, I like to usually have a tanky. So I would select him and put him in there. And now if you guys see now, is that this little icon for the captain has turned gold. And when you fill that position, they get 20... Uh, attributes towards that ship. So that's a huge, that adds tons of power to your ship. So you always want to fill this role no matter what. Even if it doesn't line up with what the ship, um, if it's for drowning damage or fire damage or strategic damage or cutthroat damage, that that's secondary. You always want to fill these roles first and that's what really matters. Uh, for the next one I would roll with for this setup, especially if you're free to play, um, would be for the first mate position and I would normally go with either you could go with like Madame Lulu is going to be kind of make yourself really tanky and a lot of heals um, but normally I would go with uh, Cursed Ed which he is a jack of all trades as you'll see here so he can fit into any of those positions as a captain gunner or first mate and then for the gunner position a good free to play uh, character and that I actually still use and I spend money in the game is Armstrong and, and the reason is because I have a tanky flagship and she will force other ships to attack the flagship so with my shields from a Bob and her they'll be taking the brunt of the damage now if you don't have a Bob you can kind of swap out for like a, a Zola uh, she can fill that role and again it steeps she's a captain so she'll fill that role and give you that bonus as well if you don't, like I said, all attributes 20% every time you fill that role. So that's huge. That's a lot of stuff to you. Um, again, you could also, if you don't have, if you don't want to use Armstrong, uh, Oscar's a good role for uh, your flagship as well. And he'll fill that gunner role as well. Now let's move on to the next ship, which I am going to use the Fearless Princess as the next example. Again, we have three roles to fill. We need a captain. So, personally, I would use, if you have him, would be Griffin. He's a great one for the strategy damage. As I'll go and show you, Fearless Princess is looking for offensive characters and strategic. Again, strategic is just secondary. It's just going to add a little bit more damage to you to the overall. Um, so, it's not that big of a deal. The biggest deals are filling these positions. So, I'm going to use Griffin there. And then my normal build would be Boa as the first mate. And I would use Cordelia for the heals to keep uh, the ship alive while they're doing damage. Um, now, again, this is for people that are spending money, so you're probably not going to have that. So let's go to a free-to-play setup. Let's get rid of these. Let's uh, probably start off, you could go with... Um, I would say Henry Hell would be a great uh, selection. He'll fit the captain position for Jack of All Trades. The next, you could either go with Madame Lulu, I would say. She would be a good fill. You could put her there, Madame Lulu. And then, or if you don't have Madame Lulu, another one would be Betty. She's a good first mate for starting off. Oops. Get rid of Madame Lulu and put Betty in if you don't have Madam Lulu. And then the next fill you could have is, again, which is a good one, would be Oscar. He'll fill that gunner role for you. Or if you already have him in your flagship, the next one would be, I would say, probably Mad Dog. Yeah, he's drowning damage, but, again, he's going to fill that gunner role to give you that 20%. So that's 
60% more attributes towards your ship, and that's going to be huge. That's going to be more damage than if it's set up for drowning or fire burning or drowning or strategic. Now let's move on to the next one that everyone should probably have this ship. You get it through just doing the the weekly stuff when you first start off in the season. Um, as you can see, this is the Crimson Sentinel ship. And Crimson Sentinel is offensive, blazing, and drowning. And as you can see right now, my setup is nothing, none of those. This is all artillery, and I'm using artillery on this ship because they're my best heroes at the time to fill this spot. Um, but if we were going for drowning or burning, which we can start off with, uh, if you had Barnacle, which I do not have Barnacle, he'd be a great captain for drowning. So we could do, we'll set up like, so you would use Barnacle here, and then the next one would be Eileen, I would say, um, right here for the drowning and for the first mate position. And then, again, if you didn't use Mad Dog in your other one, he would be your best selection. So that right there. So it would fill all three roles. Again, say this is Barnacle, then Eileen, Eileen and then Mad Dog. Um, another one you could go with if you're going to go for burning damage with this ship. Uh, Lester is uh, burning damage, and he's a captain. Um, the next one would be Will, if you had him. Will's really good for the fire damage. And he fits the gunner position, or sorry, the first mate position. And let's go with Ned. Ned will also fit that gunner position. And that's a full burning damage for that ship right there. So it would be Lester, Will, and Ned. He'll, they'll give you the full burning damage. All the buffs they'll get, and they'll do all the damage. And they work well off of each other. And now for the people that have spent money, you probably have the Warhammer flagship. I will go over that real quick. Um, so for my captain, I would use Bones, of course. I mean, he's a cutthroat. Best captain you can get. And then for my first mate would be Madame Lulu. Uh, I believe it's this skill. She increases uh, the attack by 5% of each ship of a healing bonus. I believe she also has another one. Uh, she does, when Lulu performs her skill, she heals one of the ships with low HP within the same fleet for 50%, so she's going to keep your ship topped off. And if you don't know, cutthroat damage, the longer the fight goes, the more damage it does. Because the lower the HP the ships are, the more damage the cutthroat does. So, like, when you're killing either Krakens or you're killing ghost ships or you're just killing somebody that's, like, you got a lot of health, the longer the fight goes, the more damage they'll do. So, you always want to keep them alive, so Madame Lulu is a good first mate. And then if you have Luna, Luna is great as a cutthroat gunner. Um, and I would use her. She's, she's wonderful. She does everything. She's got mo really strong skills. Um, and this will always be your top damage ship, again, if the fight goes longer. Um, if again, if you're, I was what I've, from what I've tested for short, quick fights for PvP, strategic damage does the most if you have the right heroes. Um, and again, I would always recommend you as your flagship as being the big tanky one that's going to take all the damage, that's going to do all the debuffs. Uh, because if without your if your flagship dies, all your ships are done for. So uh, you want to keep your flagship alive as long as possible. Um, if you have any questions, definitely leave a comment, and I hopefully I earned your subscription today. You all have a good rest of the day. Adios.